Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to install SonarCube on DistalOcean. So for this, we need to have a DistalOcean account and also KubeCTL and Helm utilities installed on our local machine. We already covered this in our previous videos where we uh, install Nexus on DistalOcean. And also we have few other videos where we explored Kubernetes by DistalOcean in this video. And uh, Jenkins end-to-end -end video where we installed everything in DistalOcean Cloud. That is um, Jenkins, SonarCube, Maven, um, Nexus repository, everything we installed on um, Kubernetes platform in DistalOcean. So for installing SonarCube, we need to have DistalOcean Kubernetes cluster. So in my case, uh, one of the cluster is already running. So let's check what are the resources already running in this cluster. So if I just get all the list of the pods in the default namespace, you can see that there are no applications running. So let's try to install SonarCube in this distillation cluster. So for installing SonarCube, let's go to artifacthub.io where we can find the Helm charts and install. Let's uh, search for SonarCube. So there can be SonarCube from multiple uh, users, but we need to select the organization Sonar source uh, Helm chart. So let's click on the first link. And in order to use this, we need to add the SonarCube repository and run Helm repo update. So let's copy both these commands and run at once. So in my case, SonarCube repository is already added. So let's run Helm repo update to update the repository. And in order to install this, we need to install SonarCube from this sonar cube we just added so basically this url uh, this sonar cube is alias to this url so from this repository we are um, you know installing sonar cube chart so that's the reason why this is sonar cube slash sonar cube so before installing directly like using helm upgrade hyphen hyphen install let's fall, uh, first pull this sonar cube chart and modify some of the values so let's um, go to the downloads directory in my local machine where i'm downloading all the charts and let's do helm pull and this paste this sonar cube slash sonar cube so this is the name of the helm chart from the sonar cube repository and let's use hyphen hyphen untar so that when sonar cube chart gets pulled it will be untarred as well otherwise you'll have to untar it separately so using this flag it will automatically untar and once it is pulled if you go to your downloads directory so there will be sonar cube directory which is already untarred just click on open with vs code or else you can also open it in any of the uh, text editor so let's open this values.yaml file to configure some values so this sonar cube runs a stateful set with one replica account that's fine so we all i'm interested is to change the service type from cluster ip to load balancer because um, DistalOcean has a load balancing service, so it automatically provisions a load balancer for our sonar queue. And also in order to persist the data, let's use the persistence as well. So search for persistence. So here persistence, here it is uh, disabled. Let's make it to true. Persistent annotations, we don't have anything. Storage class by default, it will select the default size 5 gb yet it's, it's fine so apart from this we don't need to actually um, um don't need anything but if you see there is also postgres service which is enabled but here the persistence is 20 gb for sonar queue which is not at all uh, needed as of now let's put it to 1 gb because we are creating the sonar cube just to um, um basically uh, write CACD pipelines so we don't have to use it for our production use cases with 1 GB of storage and also whatever instances um, I mean whatever uh, sonar cube we are going to install it is not production ready because you also need to take care of running multiple uh, pods in the stateful set controller and also do So that's it. Uh, so we don't have to make any other changes here. So let's save this file. Let's exit this and go back to the terminal and then use helm install. The name of the sonar cube release name is sonar cube and let's install from the sonar cube folder. That's it. So 
so once it is done let's go to cube still get pod and um, services so you should be able to see the sonar cube pod and also postgres pod and the sonar cube is getting exposed as load balancer and the others are uh, cluster ips so let's also get the pvcs to see what are the pvc sizes whether they are actually reflecting what we have modified so if you see postgres we modified from 20 to 1 gb so it is um, reflecting this is the default storage class and if you see sonar cube is uh, exposed as load balancer which means uh, it should provision a digital ocean load balancer let's go back to this networking part and then go to the load balancers and if you see one of the load balancer is getting provisioned for sonar cube so let's wait for something uh, some time uh, until this load balancer is uh, provision and also from the cube still get uh, svc also we are going to get the load balancer ip information in this external ip part for now it is in pending state because load balancer is still in the provisioning state so as you see here our pod is completely up and running so it took me five minutes to completely bring this pod up and also the service type of load balancer is provision and this is the load balancer ip you can verify the same by going into this networking section and then clicking on load balancers so if you see here one of the load balancer is already up so what we can do is now we can try to access our application so our application runs on 9000 port and this is the external ip so what we can do is after this ip address we can just use 9000 so if you want to configure uh, it to not to use 9000 and any other port you can configure it in the sonar cube settings so by default the username and password is admin and admin so after this we can change it to some other password and now it is asking me to enter the, uh, the change the password the default one is admin so now i'm changing it to some other password and click on update it so as you see sonar cube is completely up and running so now we'll use this with our ci cd pipelines thank you and i'll see you in the next one